Hello everyone, Shoestring here. I have just opened up my new, well, new to me, 45 watt Harbor Freight solar panel and the entire kit. I'm starting to set up and test it and I have found, to my shock and surprise, that the charge controller is not working. <gasps> I don't know why it's not working. It just doesn't function the way I wanted it to. Actually, it doesn't function at all. So I have taken, and I am about to go to Harbor Freight Store, even though I understand this is a clearance item. But I talked to the manager at our local Harbor Freight Store, a man by the name of Cody, who says, come by and see him today, and he's going to see what he can do to help us out. So, I'm going to take the charge controller, and I am going to take the connections, and I'm going to see if we can make this work and fix it. I'll talk to you again once we're at the Harbor Freight store. Okay, everyone, we are here at Harbor Freight. You can see the Harbor Freight store. We're going to go in, and we're going to go talk to Mr. Cody, and we're going to find out what we can do about fixing our charge connector problem. Talk to you when we come out. All right, we are returned from Harbor Freight. They were very good to us. They gave us a new charge controller, hopefully one that will work. This is 500 watt. Our other was 100 watt, so it is much bigger. But the connections are different. So what I'm going to have to do is cut these metal circles off and strip the wires where they will fit inside of this. So we'll to get this unboxed and we'll do some wire cutting and then we'll see what we have here. All right, the wires are all cut and it looks ready to go. And what I will do is I will do a complete other video on how to connect this correctly with the solar panels and with the battery. So everyone will have a good idea and can walk through it yourselves if you need to. Shoestring out.